Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Mayor Eric Adams' indictment being unsealed. If you haven't seen my previous video, you know, advising you guys that his um, case is going to be connected to Sean Diddy Combs, you guys need to check out that video. Now, know that his indictment has been unsealed. I know that many people may have questions as to how is this connected to Shandy de Combs. There's no information in the unsealed indictment saying that it, it is connected. But I want to show you guys how we're going to learn that it is connected to Sean Diddy Combs. But just to give you guys, in case you're just, you know, chiming into this, now we know that, in case you haven't heard, he was indicted yesterday the indictment see unsealed today before that and just a few days before sean diddy combs arrest a few political figures you know their new york home was raided by homeland security and as such this is why we're seeing a lot of this coming out now I, um as i've said to you guys in the initial video Mayor Eric Adams will be one of the first in many politicians to be indicted. And I think that we're seeing evidence of this. Also, Sloan Bella posted something on her Instagram page a few days ago that um, she posted Eric Adams and Sean Diddy Combs. And she basically said, yes, I've been telling you guys human trafficking, sex trafficking and all of that. Also, her video that she did about Kim Porter, that one where she predicted Sean Diddy Combs' downfall, in that video she said the young artists that has had worked with Sean Diddy Combs, they're going to start coming out to tell where the bodies are buried. You know, they're going to talk about a lot of things. From that video that Sloan Bella did about Kim Porter, she told us, from that video that political figures are involved and it's not just you know political figures from the united states she told us so guys as i was saying she told us that you know there are political figures from other country who will be coming out in this sean diddy combs trial no as i've said the mayor of new york mayor eric adams his indictment has been unsealed and now according to reports he faces multiple federal charges including conspiracy wire fraud and bribery no i'm gonna get into some details and then from that i hope you guys will be able to connect the dots no these charges are connected to allegations that he accepted illegal campaign contributions and bribes from foreign nationals. No, particularly from Turkey in exchange for favors such as helping Turkish officials with their fire safety approval for a new diplomatic building in New York City. Okay, so, you know, when they go in to do those building inspections, if there's anything that violates code or anything, this is what they're talking about. So, you know, Mayor Adams would know how to tell his people, look the other way from these safety violations, and then they would get approved. No. So far, he has denied any wrongdoing and vowed to fight the charges. As we know, I mean, if <laughs> in this case, only a few people will come out and say, you know what? I did it. And what I did was completely un unacceptable. I resign and all of that. But no, he's going to find this. Remember, Sean Diddy Combs told us that um, the allegations that um, Cassie Ventura had against him in that lawsuit, they were completely baseless and false. And then we saw that video of him actually putting hands on feet on Cassie. So normally when people are guilty, it takes just a few to say, you know what? I actually did it. No, let's get into some of the details because I want to show you, you know, how the connection is going to come up shortly. No. Eric Adams, again, as the defendant, he sought and accepted illegal campaign contributions in the form of nominee or straw contributions, meaning that the true contributors conveyed their money through nominal donors. Now, guys, when we're talking about nominal donors, also known as straw, we're talking about these individuals who contributed money to a campaign or a cause on behalf of another person or 
entity, right? No, what they do is to hide the true source of the funds. So as the nominal donor falsely certify that the money is your own. So basically, the nominal donor would give Eric Adams the money and say, hey, this money is coming from me to you for your political campaign. You know, we're a good company and you can accept donations from us. But behind that nominal donor or that person that is pretending that um, they are the le legitimate donor, there's someone or a group of people behind that person. So this is going to go into racketeering because the nominal donors, whoever is behind that person, it's going to come out and there's going to be, you know, like a chain connection. So this is how I believe <laughs> we're going to hear about Sean Diddy Combs and a lot of other things going down. And I do believe that as time progresses, you know, Sean Diddy Combs is going to also help to expose some of these people. He's going to keep his mouth closed, I believe, for as long as he can, you know, for the sake of his kids. But I do believe that, you know, when it comes to crunch time, he's going to start spilling the beans. But who knows what's going to happen at what time. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that because, again, a lot is about to unfold and whether we're ready for it or not it's gonna take place and it's not up to us to decide it is just what is gonna happen but guys that's all i have to say about that for this video hmm. <laughs> fasten your seat belts i think we all need to fasten our seat belts because at this point it's like it's the game of thrones you cannot have a favorite because you don't know who else is going to get cut at what point? So stay safe. See you guys later. Bye, guys.